Good morning. Today, we are going to discuss another topic in preparation for your exam or departmental exam. So today, we will discuss the concept and solve some problems in simple linear regression. Uh, and we will use a special calculator techniques for us to easily solve uh, multiple choice problems. Okay, so let's start. So as students, we always study to prepare for uh, our exams. So for example, in this particular scenario here, so we wanted to know how to increase uh, our grades. So we conducted a study to see if uh, the daily exercise time will, uh, what's the relationship of the daily exercise time and the, our grades. So for example, if we gathered some, res some respondents, their, their ID is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then we ask their corresponding uh, daily exercise time. So, for example, in, in this particular case, the respondent number one answered 15 minutes, the respondent to 55 minutes, so on and so forth. And then the next question we ask them, what is their grades for the particular term of the particular semester? So, for example, the 75, the 90, 75 for the respondent one. So, this one is very important that please do not rearrange, do not rearrange this one from lowest to highest because this daily exercise time corresponds to the response of ID number one or the respondent number one which is also the same as the 75 75% grade here so do not do, do not do not rearrange the values here okay so in order for us to compute the, the correlation coefficient so from our previous discussions on on the prelim so we have this formula here and then the, the value of this correlation coefficient ranges from negative 1 to positive 1. Negative, negative R indicates that the, they, the, the two variables have negative relationship, relationship. It means that an increase in a particular variable will result in a decrease in another variable. So for example here, if the, R, if the computed correlation coefficient in this scenario is negative, so we can say that an increase in daily exercise time will result in a decrease of your grade. So that is a negative or uh, an, in, an increase in daily or dec decrease in exercise time will increase your grades. So if positive, if positive R, so an increase in daily exercise time will result, will result in an increase of your, of your grades. So in order for us to interpret a certain value of our R, we, we, we can use this table here. So for example, if the computed R is 0 0.85, positive 0 0.85, we have to look at these values here. So 0 0.85 is around here, so that is 0 0.7. So it means that the two variables have high positive correlation. If the value is negative, let's say negative 0 0.85, uh, 65, so negative, we are going to take a look at here. So negative 0 0.65 belongs in this range so we can say that they have moderate negative relationship okay so in simple linear regression this is the, the this is the equation of the simple re linear regression this is the uh, de dependent variable and this one is the independent variable so in our particular example a while ago so our x there is the, the exercise time using the exercise time we're trying to predict our the, the grades of our respondents okay and then in in our calculator techniques later on we're going to use please memorize this formula but or familiarize this formula but if you forgot this formula uh, we can use our calculator later on for us to to try to remember this formula again okay and then another another concept in simple linear regression is the coefficient of determination so the coefficient of determination or the, simply the r squared is the proportion of variability of the dependent variable y accounted for or explained by the independent variable x this is the definition by ken black so normally the coefficient of determination is is used to 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 represent how good is your model so in this particular case here uh, how much of the changes in, in in this y in this dependent variable can be accounted for or can be explained by the changes in our x here okay yeah, so that's the basic concept of the coefficient of determination so the value ranges from 0 to 0 to positive 1 
Okay, so see you next time. So on our next videos, we're going to solve some problems using the calculator technique. So see you and God bless.